Another thing I hate about John Deere, I just started it. It's about 40 out. This thing, as soon as it hit and fired, it went wide open, or not wide open throttle, but about half throttle. And it said particular filter level high. I thought it was regen, but I brought this throttle up and back down and it went idled down. We said something about a regen filter, but as soon as it was firing, it was revved up. That's good on a cold engine. Not steaming. Condensation wear from being cold. But that's weird. Like I said, they always said no matter where your throttle's at on this, when you shut it off and restart, it'll automatically go back to an idle. No matter if you had it wide open when you shut it off or whatever. But uh, like I said, it is very... The engine is very cold. I mean, it's not cold out. Like I said, it's about 40 out. But you start an engine and go... I don't know how many RPM it was. I would have just ran the throttle up and back down, but it said something about particular filters. Like, well, usually it lets it warm all the way up before it does that. But another thing I hate about John Deere, so there's just a many things I hate about this. The more I run it, and the touchy, sensitive joysticks is the main thing. But, um, and it leaks a lot of water into cabs. I don't know why it just revved up there. thousand rpm and I am not on the throttle. We're in an idle. It doesn't say anything about regen though. If it's regen and it says it up here and I got nothing. And that's how it started right there. It started and took off the two thousand rpm. I have no idea. I don't know what to think. I got nothing unless I go half throttle. There. And then it takes off. I have no idea. Let's just shut her off. See what it does when I start it. If it does the same thing, instantly revs up like when I started it. Yeah, it'll say right up here if it's regen. And, but it said something about particular filter, but it's not showing a regen. Like that. Exhaust filter, idle, hot. exhaust filter something. It didn't say a regen though. It said exhaust filter level high, but it's not showing a regen. And, they said they will be up to operating temp before they go ahead and wrap up. And I'd say when my engine's 39 degrees, I'm not calling that warmed up, but we're just gonna shut her off like that. When I start it when I get home later, it'll do the same damn thing and wrap up like that. I'm glad it wasn't negative five out like I started the other day, because I would have been a pissed off guy for this thing to be negative five and wrap up to 2000 like that. Some people don't care. I know farmers that run them, you know, a lot of, a lot of throttle right after they're firing on all cylinders, but, uh, like I said, I'm trying to get Kubota, Winfield, Schmidt and Sons to bring me a Kubota out. I've still got to talk to them, but they've got a couple in there. SSV75 and maybe an SLV75. So, I, like I said, I wanted a Kubota all along, but they didn't know when they'd get one, and I needed one now, and they had a good warranty on this, so I won't be hurt when I trade it in or sell it outright, but that's going to go. I'll try, the, I'll try the Kubota, and if I don't like it, I'm going back to Bobcat. That's uh, Bobcat's of all I know, and our bobcat's amazing i have no no complaints about our bobcat i've been running it since i was about eight years old the only complaints i have is no heat no ac no cab radio and it's a little small for what i do i kind of like you know one that'll pick up 2,000 pounds or more that one's going to be about 1350 with the weight kit but other than that no no complaints nothing bad about a skid loader or the bobcat that i can knock and we uh we the timer went off it's been idling for 10 minutes or so so the thing shut off but uh we've ran our skid loader plumb out of hydraulic fluid more than once and it was jumping and hopping and we've seen that and put more fluid in it took right back off and we've had amazing luck and we don't even service it uh last so when i serviced it about two years ago it was i think it had 1200 hours and the last time it had been serviced was like five or six hundred so it's six seven hundred hours and i know the new ones you can do that but this is running cheap fluid and uh off-brand filters and i think the old ones are um supposed to be changed at like 250 or 200 but it was like two and a half times what it should have been changed at so um but yeah 
so that's enough ranting for now but i'll get one of them either white star or uh, kubota schmidt and sons to bring me out a kubota and a bobcat and see what they would do trade in here in the next month or two and get rid of this one and go from there but uh, in the meantime i'm gonna go get a load of rock